Lafayette County school leaders decided tonight how the district will fix some radon problems found at nine schools. Documents show why a Frankfurt fire official accused of harassing a fellow firefighter and a hospital employee was fired. The UK women's basketball team is moving on in the NCAA tournament. The home court advantage will continue in the next round. This is WKYT News at 11. And good evening. Tomorrow could have a frosty start before a warm up in the afternoon. And you'll probably notice some gusty winds as well. We begin tonight with meteorologist Jim Caldwell and your no wait weather forecast. It is going to be a wild ride, starting with the chilly temperatures that we wake up to tomorrow morning. Right now, the only active uh, warnings that we have or advisories are showing up across parts of eastern Kentucky. Freeze warning and a frost advisory. It's still kind of early in the growing season. It was just uh, bumped up a little bit because of the warmth that we've had here recently. But but still take necessary precautions in those areas and you can see why more folks are showing up in the upper 20s low 30s there more of the mid 30s around central Kentucky but you would still run into perhaps some patchy frost as we work through the overnight hour tonight later on this week it's a completely different game we start tracking another system that's going to bring rounds of showers and thunderstorms to our area one that we'll have to watch closely look at what it's going to do again it's going to start taking the warm air that we get this week which should close in on 70 degrees and change it again likely getting back into the 40s by the time we get into your uh, friday so showers thunderstorms come rolling through the area again as far as severe weather chances I think they're going to be a little more toward the south but we'll certainly have some strong winds associated with some of those storms as well maybe just not up to the severe weather criteria we're going to track all of this and a whole lot more coming up for you here at around 11 12. All right, Jim, thank you. School leaders say it's an urgent problem. And tonight, the Fayette County Board of Education voted on how to reduce higher levels of radon at nine of the district schools. The radon levels are higher than the standards the district has set for schools. So tonight, the school board approved spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to try and fix the problem. Monique Blair has our top story at 11. The EPA recommends that homes do not have a radon level of four pico curries per liter or higher. So Fayette County Public Schools also follows that recommendation. Nine schools recently tested higher than that standard. So Monday night, the school board voted in favor of spending $571,000 to reduce radon levels at each of those schools. Very upset because you you know you attempt to protect your children as much as possible, and when it comes to a colorless, odorless gas. That is radioactive, you don't have a chance to protect them. Each of Sarah Williams' three children attend a school that has a radon level of a four or higher. Being able to tell what that exposure, what damage that exposure possibly caused, won't be noticeable for years to come. So, I mean, there are several unanswered questions in all of that, and no parent likes that when it comes to the safety of their children. Now that more than half a million dollars has been approved to make changes, the district hopes to make those changes beginning next week during spring break and have them complete by the end of summer break. For the most part, it's going to be a system that takes radon from underneath the building and exhaust it either through the roof or some other uh, place in the building. Fayette County Public Schools are not mandated to test radon levels, but they began doing so in 2014. This is not just necessarily a school issue, it's a community issue. And so I think it's just a time for all of us to sort of look at this to make sure that we're all taking steps, both, both here, at, uh, not only in the schools, but within our homes as well. In Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. So here are the nine Fayette County schools that had higher radon levels. Fayette County school leaders say while there are health risks associated with prolonged exposure to high levels of radon, they say the levels found at these schools did not approach that risk. On WKYT.com, you can see a list of the radon readings that were found at each of those nine schools. New tonight, Fayette County school leaders have named new principals at three of the district schools. Paul Little will be the principal at Henry Clay High School, Grant Davis at Clay's Mill Elementary, and Steffi Urbanic will be the principal at Meadowthorpe Elementary. School leaders have also set graduation dates for the district's five high schools. Graduations for Bryan Station and Henry Clay will be on May 26th, Lafayette and Dunbar and Tates Creek on the 27th. All ceremonies will be at Rupp Arena. We have more information at WKYT.com. 
He had a high ranking in the Frankfurt Fire Department, but tonight a battalion chief has lost his job because of what investigators call inappropriate behavior. Frankfurt city leaders say he's accused of harassing a hospital employee and a firefighter recruit. New tonight, we've obtained records which show what led to him being fired. Eric Weimer has a WKYT investigation. Documents WKYT obtained through an open records request detail incidents of alleged harassment that city leaders say violated city and fire department policy. Those documents show text messages and Facebook posts uncovering claims of harassment, workplace harassment, and misconduct that ultimately led to Battalion Chief Ryan Fisher's firing. According to his employment termination order, Fisher is accused of harassing a female employee at Frankfurt Regional Medical Center, which led to him being banned from the hospital. A screenshot of a text message conversation included as an exhibit shows Fisher being told, you have got to stop, and telling him not to contact her again. Documents show Fisher was also accused of taking a picture of and making comments about a firefighter recruit getting out of the shower wearing a towel and later sending a picture of himself in the bathtub to that same recruit. Exhibits also include several Facebook posts that supervisors found, quote, reflected poorly upon himself and ultimately the fire department, including what appeared to be drunken rants and photos of a torn-up room scattered with beer cans and a broken coffee table. After a hearing, Frankfurt's Board of Commissioners voted 3-1 to one to terminate Fisher's employment with the city. I have reached out to Ryan Fisher, but he has not returned my request for comment. In Frankfurt, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Frankfurt police tell us at this point Fisher is not facing any criminal charges. New tonight, at least 100 people gathering for a vigil for a Kentucky family that died in what police describe as a murder suicide. Louisville police say that Brad Hettinger shot his wife, Billy, and the couple's two young children yesterday before setting the house on fire and turning the gun on himself. Tonight, neighbors lit candles and prayed at the vigil outside the family's home. One woman there said that her daughter, who lives nearby, is in shock. It's hard for her because every time we walked our dog, the little girl would come out and play with the dog as we walked past the house every time. It's just really upsetting to know. Billy Hettinger was originally from Nicholasville and worked for Baptist Health. The family lived in Lexington before moving to Louisville. Investigators have not released a possible motive for the murder suicide. New tonight, a Bath County man has died in what state police call an accidental shooting. It happened about noon today at a home on Bethel Ridge Road north of Owingsville. Police say that six year old Stephen Rout was shot when a disassembled firearm accidentally went off while it was being stored for travel. They say Rout soon died from his injuries. New tonight, a Lexington Neighborhood Association says a lawsuit filed against it over a child's playhouse has been dismissed. The Volutis family had a playhouse built for their son who has cerebral palsy years ago, but the Andover Forest Homeowners Association claimed it violated its rules and wanted it torn down. The family claimed the playhouse was medically necessary for their son. Andover Forest says it later granted an accommodation for the family based on medical records. But the U.S. Department of Justice still filed a lawsuit against the association claiming discrimination. Andover Forest attorneys say that lawsuit was dismissed today after investigators found some of the medical documents the family submitted were not authentic. New tonight, Kentucky's Chief Justice says he's worried proposed state budget cuts could have a bad effect on the state's judicial system. Justice John Minton told a Senate committee today 9% cuts to the judicial system over two years would likely send 17,000 defendants back to county jails. He says there would be no officers to supervise them while they awaited trial. Minton also said the cuts would cost 600 jobs. He's urged senators to reject the cuts. The U.K. women's basketball team has enjoyed playing at home in the NCAA tournament, and tonight the Cats played Oklahoma at Memorial Coliseum. At stake, a spot in the regionals to be played at Rupp Arena. Rob Bromley joins us now with some highlights, and Rob, nothing like home sweet home. Well, that's right, Sam. The Kentucky women looking to advance to the Sweet 16 that I with a win over Oklahoma in the NCAA tournament second round. Early on, it was the freshman, Macy Morris. She went three for three from long distance, and Kentucky led by eight at halftime. Oklahoma pulls within two in the third. Taylor Murray hits the jumper to extend the lead back to four points. Late in the third, 
Michaela Epps dials it in from the corner. She finished with 13 in the game tonight. And Janae Thompson knocking down three more. She had a game high 16. And Kentucky rolling on its home court, winning it 79 to 58 to move on to the Sweet 16. So the Cats will now play in Rupp Arena Friday. They'll play Washington. Washington stunning Maryland tonight on its home court in College Park. Thank you, Rob. And the UK women are now 25 and 7 on the season. Police want people in the Lexington neighborhood to be on alert after a string of car break ins in nine minutes. How surveillance video could provide some clues in the case. And then a grand jury indicts a Laurel County constable for a deadly shooting, but the victim's fiance is telling us about him. It's time to wake up. You've got things to do mouths to feed, work to get done. It's another Kentucky morning. And Kentucky mornings start here. Good morning, I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. You don't have time to waste, so we don't waste your time. Simple as that. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. Way to have fun every five minutes. Fueling imagination. Funding education. If you've been injured in an automobile accident, don't give a written or recorded statement until you speak to us. Visit forthepeople.com. Morgan and Morgan. For the people. Hi, I need a safe car. The Camry's really safe. Ten airbags, even has a backup camera. Wow, that could come in handy. Bye. Dad! Gotta keep my little girl safe. Don't worry, he'll only be like this for another 10 or 15 years. At least. It's Toyota's One for Everyone sales event with zero for 60 financing plus $500 bonus cash on Camry or $1,500 customer cash or a $179 a month lease. Here you go. Toyota, let's go places. Kentucky branded, all things Kentucky. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security Disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Want to be part of the new Big Brother? Go to WKYT.com and apply today. Now, your hour-by-hour hour forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell. It's expected to be a pretty chilly night for a lot of folks across uh, central and especially into parts of eastern Kentucky. Some of those valley locations really going to get cold tonight with some uh, upper 20s out there. What we have here in Lexington, just quiet conditions and certainly getting to those chilly levels. We're looking back toward downtown as we do right around this time of night. And many times we're at 42 degrees with a feels like temperature of 39 wind coming in uh, still more out of the uh, west at this point at around five miles per hour. So certainly impacting the temperature just a little bit area wide. You can find that we're running in the 30s and even some 40s already down to 32 in Monticello, 43 in Richmond and 41 in London. Our hour by hour look at temperatures tomorrow morning. You see the chill holding on, but then we just go right past the chill and you can kind of forget about it. You can even forget about it into Wednesday morning as well because we're running here in the low and mid 60s. Very pleasant looking Tuesday with those temperatures. Now they are going to be joined by some very gusty winds. Should start gusting 20, 25 miles per hour at that point and getting worse through the day. What we have is a big battle between this high and this storm system over the next several days. That storm system is going to be on the move. We get into your Wednesday. Things are still pretty quiet as far as rain chances are concerned. But the storm system itself continues to move into the area, breaking out into showers and even some thunderstorms early on Friday morning. Out ahead of it, winds are really driving those temperatures up, but they will crash through the day and then going into your Friday as well. 
And you can see those rain showers and thunderstorms starting to wrap up as we go into the afternoon hours on Thursday. But the cooler air is already starting to inch its way through the area. So there comes yet another dip in temperatures. And you can kind of see the temperature profile later on this week. This is around 5 o'clock on Thursday. You can see that colder air just following that front behind. While the storms are probably breaking out here, that cold air is just lagging behind just a little bit. But it will catch up and it'll get a whole lot cooler around here as well. Let's talk about that battle. This is a battle that's going to be going on without any rain. It's just going to be plain old windy over the next few days. We've got the high that'll be sitting off the coast. You get in between that and this low, and we'll have winds gusting anywhere 20, 30, 40, and maybe close to 50 miles per hour several days this week. Now, here we go just into tomorrow. By 11 o'clock tomorrow night, by this time tomorrow night when Chris is back, you're likely talking 30, 40 mile per hour wind gust, at least in some areas. We get into Wednesday, and they're holding steady at least 30 plus a lot of wind coming and it's going to keep coming until that front finally clears town on Thursday and brings that cooler air in temporarily. It's not going to be a long run with uh, the cool stuff. You can see that here in our seven day forecast Friday there with uh, 48 as your high well, recovery mode kicks in on during the weekend. We're in the 50s and 60s again with looks like rain trying to get in here for uh, Easter Sunday now, guys. A few showers trying to work in. Uh, that, that's something we were looking at earlier, but now it looks like it might be here, unfortunately, for that. We've got plenty of time to tweak it, though. Really nice of you to leave this uh, mess for Chris to handle. There you go. Here's, here's 50 mile per hour winds and an Easter forecast. Sure, I'm on ahead. vacation. Yeah. I'm off. All yeah. right. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. You can help a Lexington firefighter battling cancer just by ordering pizza at one restaurant. We'll explain in seven minutes. At Gates Nissan in Richmond, we've got a huge selection of new Frontier trucks. Own a 16 Frontier 4x4 extended cab V6 for only $27,990. At Gates Nissan in Richmond, we sell new Nissans for less because we can. My hospital bills were over $300,000. As soon as I got the first bill, I contacted Becker and I was like, is there anything that you guys can do with it? And they was like, we'll handle it. They talked to the uh, hospitals to try to get it knocked down as best as they could. Whenever I found out that they knocked my bills down from about 300000 I just, I was just thankful. It's a relief. Serious, experienced results. Call the Becker Law Office. Just dial threes. Hi, Shane Huffman with Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where today you can lease a brand new 2016 Honda CRV for just $2.59 a month. Plus, we're going to back all our deals with our 110% price protection guarantee. That's Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt. Huffman has it. With a heavy duty welded steel deck and patented smooth track steering, the Hustler Raptor Zero Turn Mower doesn't play around. It's got the power to turn your weekend to-do list into your weekend to-done list. The legendary Hustler Raptor family starting at just $27.99. Tools, not toys. Get your Hustler mower at Huss Equipment in Nicholasville and Big M Discount in Whitley City. If you've been in an accident with a semi-truck, let our crash team get started today. Don't delay. Evidence disappears. Morgan & Morgan, for the people .com. So, you've got these projects on your list. You've been wanting to update your kitchen, organize your closets, and build the backyard oasis of your dreams. So where do you start? Well, projects solved. The Central Kentucky Home and Garden Show is here. Need a reliable contractor? You'll find them at the show. Need a landscaping pro? They're here too. Bring photos of your projects and meet with the experts. Then compare and save with exclusive show-only deals. There's only one place to find it all next weekend at the Lexington Center. At Gates Nissan in Richmond, we've got a huge selection of new Frontier trucks. Own a 16 Frontier 4x4 extended cab V6 for only $27,990. At Gates Nissan in Richmond, we sell new Nissans for less because we can. New tonight, Lexington police hope surveillance video helps them catch some people that have been breaking into cars in a neighborhood. This video shows two people checking for unlocked doors in cars in the Polo Club Boulevard area. In the last day, police say at least four cars were broken into on Passage, Mound Way, and Beaten Path. And in each case, police say the thieves stole valuables left in a console or in plain view. People in the neighborhood say they're concerned. It's very unsettling. It's disturbing. Um, makes you feel violated. We work hard for what we have. So, you know, it is very disturbing. 
Lexington police say they have identified some possible persons of interest based on the surveillance video. A grand jury has indicted a Laurel County constable on a second degree manslaughter charge. Investigators say Constable Bobby Smith shot and killed Brandon Stanley at a store on March 4th. They say Smith was trying to serve an arrest warrant on Stanley at the time. Investigators say Stanley was shot twice. His fiance says the shooting happened the night before the couple was set to get married. When we had Brandon's layout, the preacher came over there to where we was at and said that Brandon had his hands up the whole time that there was no reason for him to be shot and killed by Leah. Smith told us he couldn't discuss the case. He posted a $50,000 bond and was never taken to jail. He'll be arraigned next week. New tonight, a hearing over the FBI's demand that Apple help unlock an iPhone used by one of the people involved in the San Bernardino terrorist attacks has been canceled. This comes after federal prosecutors said an outside party came forward and showed the FBI a possible method for unlocking the phone. And if that method works, the FBI would not need Apple's help. Apple has fought the FBI's demand, saying it would make other iPhones vulnerable. And new tonight, a Florida jury has awarded former wrestler Hulk Hogan with millions more dollars in his lawsuit against Gawker Media. The jury awarded him $115 million on Friday. And today, the jury ordered Gawker to pay $25 million in punitive damages. Hogan sued Gawker after the website published a sex tape of him. Gawker claimed the tape was newsworthy. The company says it will appeal the jury's ver verdict. We have an update tonight on work to repair a stretch of Interstate 75 damaged by a rock slide in Tennessee. The northbound lanes just south of Jellico have been closed for nearly a month. Today, the Tennessee Department of Transportation posted video showing northbound I-75 being paved. Crews expect northbound lanes to reopen by Thursday. Southbound lanes were also closed for a few weeks but have already reopened. Tomorrow, a Lexington restaurant is joining the effort to help a firefighter battling cancer. Lexington firefighter Matt Logston was diagnosed with cancer earlier this year, and he's already spent time in Chicago receiving treatment. The Papa John's restaurant on the Avenue of Champions will donate 25% of its sales tomorrow to the Matt Logston Cancer Fund. Other businesses and fire departments around the area have been holding fundraisers for Logston in recent weeks. So many, so many people pulling together for yeah, him. Yeah. Well, look out. The U.K. women's team is making a run in the NCAA, Rob. So far, the Cats enjoying playing here in the Lexington region. Kentucky now just two wins away from making it to the Final Four. The next stop is Rupp Arena. Stay with us for sports. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. We're the McClure family, and welcome to our show. Our show. Now go enjoy yours. Woo! Hi, here for our One for Everyone event? Yep, and I brought everyone. Everyone? Kamiko's my BFF, Darren's her boyfriend, Jillian's my sister. She's dating Liam, who used to date Teresa, but they're still friends. Well, Kamiko and Darren could get 0% APR financing, low monthly payments for Jillian, amazing lease deals for Liam, and tons of inventory for his friend, Teresa. Nice. Now get 0% financing on many of your favorite new Toyotas. Get up to 58 MPG in the fourth generation Prius with leases starting at just 209 a month. Got room for one more? Toyota, let's go places. We're the Swartzes from Omaha. Welcome to our show. See more of our show and start enjoying yours at visitmo.com. Tuesday's Mega Millions jackpot is $30 million, and Wednesday's Powerball jackpot is $90 million. Stanley Steamer is the first carpet cleaning service certified asthma and allergy friendly. It's our new standard of clean. Now get three rooms of carpet clean, just $99. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, your certified cleaner. We hid cameras in two different cars. The Chevy Equinox with built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi and the Ford Escape without. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Keep your legs down. You're going to put your leg down. Chevrolet is the first and only car company to bring built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi to cars, trucks, and crossovers. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Equinox for around $169 a month. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. 
What we do is not about sickness. It's about living. Because you were made to live and live well. Let us show you how care is supposed to be. Lexington Clinic, your doctors for life. If you are in a car accident and searching for a lawyer, you need to ask that lawyer three questions. One, have you practiced law in Kentucky your entire legal career? Two, have you recently tried a case in a Kentucky courtroom? And three, have over a dozen of the nation's largest insurance companies retain you to try their cases? At Golden Law Office, we can answer yes to all these questions. Put our inside knowledge to work for you. Call us today for a free consultation. Toyota South isn't the number one or number two volume Toyota store in the area. I'd like to be. But my dad told me a long time ago, it's not the number of cars you sell, it's the number of satisfied customers you have that makes a difference. We're not in the big city, which means we just have to work harder, we have to keep our overhead low, so we continue to sell new Toyotas for less. Choose Toyota South on the bypass in Richmond. One year ago, the Kentucky women's team was upset in the second round of the NCAA tournament on its home court tonight. The Cats looking for a different outcome in a second round matchup with Oklahoma. A win would put Matthew Mitchell's team into the Sweet 16. Early on, freshman Macy Morris striking from long range. She hit three out of three, Kentucky on top, 18-14. Late second quarter, the senior Janae Thompson gets the runner in the lane, her 1,000th career point. Catch up by eight at halftime into the third. Kentucky holding a two point lead. Thompson delivers the interior pass to Evelyn Akator for the basket and the foul. And the Wildcats go up by four, and then Kentucky extends its lead to seven. McKayla Epps out of the corner. She had 13 tonight. The Wildcats pull away late. It is Thompson for three more of her game high 16, and Kentucky rolling to victory and advancing. 21 point victory. Christy Thomas was on hand for it. The Cats advanced to their sixth Sweet 16 in program history. It was a big fourth quarter that created the separation that the Cats needed, and that was fueled in large part by senior Janae Thompson. She led five players in double figures with 16 points as the Cats got to the free throw line 38 times in this ballgame. The 21 point win was despite Michaela Epps, their leading scorer, only having one field goal in this ballgame and being limited with a shoulder injury late in the game. It really set in for me that I need to step up when. Michaela got hurt because um, she looked like she was hurting pretty bad and I wasn't sure if she was going to be able to come back and um, you know she's one of the best scorers in the country and we were struggling to score so I tried to just attack. I'm real proud to be on a team that like if one of us go out we got people that can pick up the slack. You know I went out and Janae's going to play her tail off for me just like last year when she went out I had to step up into the role of a point guard and I played my tail off for her every night. The Lexington Regional got a little more interesting as seven seed Washington upset two seed Maryland. They now move on to Lexington as well so the Cats will face the Huskies at seven o'clock on Friday night in Rupp Arena. In Lexington, Christy Thomas, WKYT. Thank you, Christy. Quarterfinals of the CBI tournament and Moorhead State hosting Duquesne in Johnson Arena. And the Eagles build an early lead. Brent Arrington knocking down the three. Moorhead goes up 15 to 7. Now, 3.5 seconds left in the half. Here comes Arrington. And he lets it go for a midcourt and nails it. An eight point halftime lead, 43 35. Into the second half, the Eagles by five and into the lane. Dewan Marrero with a hook. Moorhead goes up 62 55. Check out the feed from Xavier Moon to Lionel Gaines for the slam. The Eagles' lead was up to nine and Moorhead advances, winning by 10, 82 72. Georgetown College in Kansas City facing Mid America Nazarene. NAI semifinals. Tigers win it 90 83. They advance to the championship tomorrow night. In the other Fab Four semifinal, Campbellsville coming up just short, losing out to Mid America Christian out of Oklahoma, 91 to 89, the final there. 
And former Wildcat Alan Edwards is the new coach at Wyoming. Edwards, who played at UK from 1994 to 98, has been an assistant under Larry Shyatt for the last five years. Edwards served as an assistant coach at Moorhead Virginia Commonwealth and at Western Kentucky, but he has always wanted to be a head coach. Yeah, I mean, it's something I worked for. Um, it's something I always felt in my heart that it would happen one day, and, and that's how I've always tried to carry myself and prepare myself for it. Uh, I'm just fortunate that it happened this way in a situation that I'm already familiar with, uh, being that I was in the program for the last five years under uh, a tremendous teacher, to now that I can, you know, take, take the baton and kind of go forward with it. And Matt Jones is up next talking about what went wrong for the Cats Saturday. Stay with us. Hi. I need a safe car. The Camry's really safe. Even has a backup camera. That could come in handy. Dad! Lease this Toyota Camry now for $179 a month with no cost maintenance included. Toyota, let's go places. You may be entitled to $1,500 for each call you've received from any company collecting a debt. Seems too good to be true, but it's the law. We're pleased to announce that we now have Honda in Richmond, which means you can shop and compare the four leading brands all in one location. So where else can you shop and compare the four best brands, be only minutes from Fayette County, work with one salesperson, and only have to have your car appraised once? For your convenience, out of respect for your time, we now offer Gates Honda, Gates Hyundai, Gates Nissan, and Toyota South, all on the bypass in Richmond. All right, come on, it's time to go. Getting more for your money is simpler than you might think. When you shop at Kroger, you get low prices throughout the store, weekly specials, great value from our quality brands, digital coupons, and even fuel points to help you save at the pump. No spin, just savings. Bring home private selection spiral sliced ham for just $1.79 a pound and mix and match avocados or mangoes. Now 10 for $10. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Want the best selection of appliances? Craig's got it! Big savings on big brands. Samsung, LG, Whirlpool, and more. All with our 30-day low price guarantee and free delivery. H.H. Craig. Craig's got it! The AFP has had its eye on her for quite some time. We were just waiting for the right moment to move in. The vibe was anything but playful. Go, go, okay. We knew we had to move in fast, but there was a crowd, so we had to play it cool. This is where the years of training paid off. We got the scratch-off ticket to her in the nick of time. We're agents to play, man. People think this job is all fun and games, but we take our fun seriously. That's what being an agent of play is all about. Thank you. We're just doing our job. Put a little play in your day with scratch-offs from the Kentucky Lottery. Fueling imagination, funding education. What truck company do you think offers best-in-class V8 fuel economy, best-in-class V8 horsepower, and best-in-class V8 towing? Chevy. I'm going with Ram. Definitely Ford. The new 2016 Chevy Silverado offers best-in-class V8 fuel economy, horsepower, and towing. They're all Chevy. It's truck month. Get a total value of $7,500 on this Silverado All-Star with a 5.3 liter V8. Plus, find your tag and get 1,000 cash allowance on select Silverado models in stock. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. CBS's Big Brother is searching the country for people from all walks of life. This is anyone's game. Want to be part of the new Big Brother? Go to yeah. WKYT.com and apply today. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. Toyota's One for Everyone sales event is on now with great deals on your favorite Toyotas. But hurry, this event ends April 4th. Lease the first ever Toyota RAV4 Hybrid now for just $249 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. The Kentucky loss to Indiana still hurts two days later. For the Cats, it was a chance to go to the Sweet 16 and play against North Carolina in a game where I think the winner would have gone to the national title game. But unfortunately, Kentucky couldn't get it done, and now we have to listen to Hoosiers over the next few weeks. Here's the thing Kentucky was not able to do really all season, and that was find a third consistent score. They knew they could get points from Tyler Eulis. They got points from Jamal Murray almost every night, but they couldn't find a third guy to pick up the slack if one of those first two had a bad night. Jamal Murray went one for nine from three-point land, so it was time for someone else to pick up the slack, and they just couldn't do it. Alex Poitras was in foul trouble. Scala BCA just didn't have the strength, and Derek Willis never got any shots at all. 
For Kentucky, it was the worst possible situation. They lose to a team that I think they're better than, and now their season is over. Ultimately, I'm not too distraught about the game. I don't think Kentucky was going to beat North Carolina anyway. But still, it goes to show that this season could have been a little bit better. Had Scal been a little bit better coming out of high school or one or two more guys raised their game, I think we would have seen a different result. But as it is, we wait for next year where Kentucky has another amazing class coming in and another shot at a national title. I'm Matt Jones, and this has been Overtime. Matt, thank you. All right, the sun going to be making some appearances tomorrow. It is after we start off on the chilly side tomorrow morning with areas of frost and a potential freeze out in parts of eastern Kentucky. We'll all be smiling by the end of the day. We look ahead to our weekend where we run into a uh, chance of rain, perhaps. On you laughing, my duck face? Yes, there? I am. <laughs> well, you know, a little rain. It's uh, Easter, so I thought I'd throw the duck in there. It needs to be a bunny butter. face. Well, I don't think there's a thing. <laughs> my favorite is one of the shades. Well, that's what I want more of. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.